I must say this. One of the things I find in most of our Pentecostal charismatic churches is we don't know how to relate with people when they're going through difficult times. We don't know. Sometimes we even think maybe they are not following the plan of God for their lives. Say, brother, are you sure you're still in the faith? Why are things so rough with you like this? Are you sure you have not sinned? Are you sure you're not keeping a secret sin? We become judgmental. We say horrible things. A brother has an accident. You say, maybe he didn't pray well this morning. Very wicked. Even unbelievers won't talk like that. Very wicked. A brother is critical in the hospital. What you're thinking of is, did he pray? So that means God got him because he didn't pray. See your legalistic mind. And the reason we talk like that is because we don't know how to build healthy relationships. We don't know how to build healthy Christian relationships. Listen everybody. There will be good times and there will be bad times. That's life. Say I hear you. Even if you're as holy as Jesus himself, there will be good times and bad times. Jesus also had good times and bad times. Throw or false. He had good times. He had bad times. He had challenging times. He had betraying moments. So that you're going through a rough time or you're going through a tough time or you're going through a challenging time or you're going through a difficult time doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. It's part of life. It's part of life. There will always be good times and there will also be not too good times and those times when you're going through challenging times there are some times you're going through challenges you don't need anybody to stand around you quoting scriptures true or false you don't want no scriptures quoted you just need someone to stand around and say i understand and i'm here for you that's all you need i understand i'm here for you don't need somebody to stand there and say it is written examine yourself and see if you are still in the faith neither give place to the devil sometimes you go through things all you want is encouragement you don't want all those uh, 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 spiritual language brother when you are praying that the Lord speak to you <laughs> glory to God some of us don't, just don't know how to handle relationships and some of us don't know how to handle relationships when Christians go through tough times when a brother is going through a tough time that's not when he wants to hear judgment that's not when he wants to be interrogated what he wants at that time is support you don't have to say something you talk too much there are times you don't just have to say something just be there I've met people who are going through challenging times even in church here and after they finish telling me everything me myself I'm more confused than them I just say oh, oh I understand I understand I understand it is well so I'll tell them the kind of thing you have said even me I don't know which scripture to quote but I understand Then I pray for the person in tongues and tell the person, We're here for you. If there's anything, reach out. Some of us don't know how to stay with people. We don't know how to handle tough times, especially when brethren are going through because we have never learned to be friends. And we must because we must have relationships that will last. We must relate till Jesus comes. Say, I hear you. Am I blessing you? And that's why some Christians hide their challenges. Because they know the way you will look at them. They will not say it. They will say, I'm not spiritual. Now they will be looking at me like I'm not prayerful. They will think I have committed a sin. Let me die in silence. If I die, it's Jesus I'm going to meet. <laughs> you see, brother, suffering in silence. These things ought not so to be some of us are not matured we've got to grow up 
Say, I hear you. 